Okay, I apologize for that, ladies and gentlemen. My, uh, for whatever reason, my link just completely stopped running, and I didn't want to phone anything in. So, looks like we're back. Uh, looks like we're back online. So, let's finish up this live reaction. We are on question number three, I believe. For question four, rather, for tough beats in round number two. Let us see how this goes. Here we go. Right now, going again. Who voiced Sally the Porsche? Oh, we were on question Pixar three. Films, cars, Cars Two, and Cars Three. Bonnie Hunt. That's right. It was Bonnie Hunt. She is powering through. Somebody this is what Tough Beats needs. So we're good. <laughs> we're good. In your next, your next question. In Wally. -E, the Lonely Robot learns about love by watching a live-action clip of the song It Only Takes a Moment from what classic musical <clears throat> film? Hello, Dolly. Yeah. Hello, Dolly. There you go. Tuffy looking at a perfect, perfect. round just, two. Okay. So Tough Beats now has come back 23-17. Made it a ball game, if nothing else. You have two more questions in this category. The penultimate one is... In The Incredibles, Mr. Incredible hides behind a skeleton of a former superhero to avoid detection. Oh, that's... What was the name of oh, that superhero? Oh, the name of the I... superhero? Yeah, the name of the superhero. Yeah, we're going to do multiple choice. All right, your options are thus. Is it A, Blaze Stone, B, Downburst, C, Apogee, or D, Gazer Beam? No capes. D. One point. All right, there you go. All right. Incorporated. Question though, I gotta, re I gotta rewind that. C card. Oh, from what? Okay. Wow. Okay, when you get that together, that's fair. Wow. Team Six Degrees is gonna spend opponent's choice, and they're still going into round three up by six points. You would have had me cast out of this studio. They almost had a knockout after that, but Perry Nemiroff had the best. Uh, the best spin of her career, I think. With that That's one. right. Sure. Now All we right. move on to round three. Round three is where fates get decided. One of these teams has to head up the highway to Barstow for all of eternity. In round three, each one of the teams is going to give us a number, a series of numbers ranging from one to twenty. You each give us three numbers. Those numbers correspond to a movie category up here at our question and answer desk. Uh, six degrees, you are in the lead. So you guys will pick the three numbers. Six, 16, 12. How did you know which numbers the other one was going to say? Right. <laughs> All right, so let's awesome. six, 16 and 12. Tough, and now we get beats. the numbers from Tough Beats. Uh, 19? 13. 7. 
Not as in sync as six degrees, but still right. three acceptable numbers. I will ask the questions to Tough Beats. Here, Tough Beats is trying to avoid avoid the TKO and also avoid being disbanded, Mark. That's no right. No longer being part Lona. of the showdown. All right, so let's go. So for category number 19 is what they chose first. That would be the category of action adventure. Who's taking the two-pointer there? I'll, I'll do. Now keep in mind, competitors, you cannot consult on the two or the three pointer. Once you hit yeah. the five pointer, you are allowed to talk to them. All right, in the category of action adventure, how many total RoboCop films <laughs> oh! have been released? The action. Three. three. Gotta go three. Yes. Incorrect. What? Four. Three from the oh, one. funky uh, butt loving. So now Perry. Oh, Perry that's. Kevin Costner. It's Kevin Costner. I'm not sure, but I'm just going to say Clint Eastwood. Can't even look at it. Dang! Tough Beats is no more. I'm bummed out now. Look, says it all. Uh, here we go. Brianna, Stacey, no, shut Stacey, up. Washington, the victorious Team Six Degrees. Why does it have to be victorious? It's more so victorious. We told you all what was going to happen. It wasn't any shock that Six Degrees would cause Tough Beats to split up and break up. It's a tough loss for Tough Beats. I mean, I, no one's going to argue. No, no, no. Listen, round one, Brianna destroyed. Round two, Stacy demolished. They didn't even have to go to round three. Do you know what that means? I've said it before, and I will say it again. This is the future of the showdown, and now the ultimate showdown is right in our sights, ladies. That means it doesn't matter which team you bring up. The schmoes, DC movie news. <laughs> it does. The Lions did. Team action. The Patriots. It doesn't matter. Do you see That was a challengeable. That was completely spell, challengeable. Yeah, she had. I can say about people here in the showdown on a regular basis. So, I, congratulations, six degrees. I'm I'm proud to see how far you've come, but I'm not sure about this this attitude shift that seems to have happened. <laughs> a little bit of a tough loss. 
<laughs> now, listen, Perry, I have to say I knew what you were thinking, choosing new releases when you guys spun opponent's choice, but it didn't quite work out in your favor. I backfired big time. I mean, never did I expect those to be as easy as they were, but, you know, so so it goes. I, you know, in hindsight, obviously I would have chosen something different on the wheel. The mentality was that they would get some wrong and we would steal them because I know new releases very well, but they just happen to be really easy questions. Absolutely. And, I mean, you did, I think, really redeem yourself with that Pixar category. That was very impressive. The Pixar one, that, that felt pretty good. The, those last uh, few cha were challenging questions, though, especially that last one. I was, you know, I was kind of leaning towards that Toy Story 3 answer, but at the same time, it's it's yeah. hard with movie quotes for any any genre out there. Yeah, I understand. That it's not, your brain doesn't immediately go, oh, there's a quote about government in Toy Story. Jonathan, how are you feeling after the batch here? You know what? It was a tough loss for tough meats. Uh, I'm not that happy, though. I gotta be honest. Yeah. Uh, I thought we were gonna do a lot better. As a matter of fact, it's a bitter pill to swallow that they beat us in singles, and then they were the ones to send us on our way as a team. Um, but uh, I'm always looking to the future. I'm not giving up. I, I know this one should not give up. I'm so proud of her performance today. I'm, it was an honor to be her teammate. And I think she's got a lot of promising, a huge promising future, too. I think you guys both actually are very promising. You had a really strong start back in 2016, and you've just, you've had a tough year. So so what is your plan going forward? Are you going to go back to singles? Are you going to be, dare I say it, looking for new teammates? Oh, it's hard to think about looking for a new teammate because, you know, I mean, losing sucks and having a breakup sucks, but... If it wasn't for this guy, I wouldn't be in Schmodown at all. He's the one that gave me the confidence to even start doing this kind of stuff. And it's been a really fun ride. So even though we are breaking up, I mean, the Tough Beats matches are some of my best memories at Collider. And he, he's going to go on. He's going to play singles. And he's going to he's gonna kill some competition there. I appreciate it. No, we are going to we are gonna focus on our, on our singles still and move forward with that. And uh, hopefully take these tough beat vibes and, and, and spread the love and grow into two new teams that are, you know, have, have that positive. You'll be back. More to the you guys will be back. Well, everybody certainly still loves you here, Team Tough Beats, even if you guys are no longer a team. I'm sure that we'll continue to see fantastic things out of each of you guys individually in the future. And who knows, maybe if you go on and conquer the singles, a Tough Beats reunion could be in there somewhere way down the line. So uh, sorry once again about your loss today you should leave with your heads held high we wish you all the best we're sad to see you go this, this was fun though thank you you're welcome and now back to you mark and christian I, I gotta say one thing real quick you know the stipulation with this contest loser breaks up i mean I don't mind the matchup, but the stipulation? I just don't get, you know, you do, when you do stipulations, no matter what they are, especially with a situation such as the feud between Six Degrees and Tough Beats, you just throw it, just throw it out like that unannounced I mean you're not gonna try to you're not gonna try to do some build up and get a number out of it I mean that's just mind boggling to me I don't mind the fact that it's not on a on an event show like collision in fact why didn't you save this for collision this could have been built up so masterfully. Why was this not built up for the for the collision? Especially when it's only what week, week and a half away. That's astonishing to me. Anyway. That, that that just boggles my mind that this has happened, but on with the show. Well, look, there you go. A lot of 
laughing and dancing and singing and celebrating us. Frivolitary. Talk about villains. I mean, Jay Washington laughing his head off there. The fact that they've eliminated him. Now they're talking about the ultimate schmodown, about going into the schmodown. And, and they're acting as if they've been champions for the last 10 years. That's right. Well, look, they got a big victory here today. Two great performances by the teams, both with the intro and the movie trivia knowledge. But it definitely went the way of six degrees. Their opponent's choice really came back to bite them. Yeah, and you heard about that. And Perry Nemiron, she talked a little bit about that challenge and how she wanted to play with the challenge herself. They don't know what's next. They don't know what's going to happen. None and of us humans do. And as you can see nope. in the interview, they're bumped by it. Uh, they didn't None of us humans do. I mean, again, six degrees all the way through in singles and in team had their number. That's right. Well, we don't have a crystal ball in front of us, but we can tell you guys, for all the latest in the movie trivia showdown going on, make sure you're on iTunes and you check out the showdown rundown and join the Facebook group, The Movie Trivia Showdown. I am nearly Mark Ellis. And don't forget about our buddy Ken Knapsack. Who? Every Thursday on Facebook, we've got Inside Showdown every Thursday at 2 p.m. on the Collider <laughs> Facebook. Make sure you check out this man on Friday. Hi. He's going to be going up against Classy Clark Wolf, the return of Baby Carrots. It's going to happen. Make sure. Now you that that will be a fun matchup. Court. That will be a lot of fun. Match between the reigning champions, the Patriots, against the former champions, top ten, and then finally on July seventh, my birthday, the Collider Collision, four big matches. This should have been a part of that show. This matchup should have been a part of that show. That just, again, that boggles my mind. Both Dan Merle and John Roker. That is Christian Harlock. Stop talking. All right, Josh McCuga, tell us about fantasy stats. What's up, movie trivia showdown? What's up, Bozo the Clown? Another tease. What's he thinking? Ah! Hey. Good grief. Well, it's Tag Team Tuesday. Tough beats, maybe no more, but they'll be back in some way, shape, or form. Again, why not again, why not save this for the collision? If you like this video, click the thumbs up button. Subscribe to this channel here to watch uh, this matchup along with me. Click here, click here or here to see what else I have on my channel might interest you. I am the one only 235. Have a great rest of your evening, folks, till we meet again.